dive into the alluring region of Western Sumatra, which I consider to be my new favorite destination in Indonesia. This region really wants to cease to amaze you, whether you love to go for island hopping, enjoying beautiful landscapes, tasting delicious food or learning about the local culture. In all of these categories, West Sumatra is going to impress you. Strap yourself in for the top 10 things to do in West Sumatra, Indonesia. Selamat sore, selamat datang ke channel saya. Welcome to my channel, my name is Jemo. I'm a Swiss traveler who mostly produces videos about Southeast Asia and Switzerland. If you like this kind of content, then you write in this channel here, so you're most welcome to subscribe. All right, let's start with the first place on this top 10 list. Number 10 goes to the Lemba Ana Waterfall. Western Sumatra is full of surprises and wonderful landscapes. Should you decide to visit Bukitinggi first, then you surely will pass the waterfall as it's just by the road. The waterfall is quite impressive, entry only will cost you around half a US dollar and surely you are not going to be disappointed. With it being so convenient to visit, you surely cannot complain about this beautiful waterfall. Number 9 is located in the town of Bukitinggi and that is the Jambatan Limpape. This bridge is located right in the heart of Bukitinggi. It's built in a modern Minangkabau style which reflects the architecture that is very prevalent in this region. From the bridge you can oversee the town, but it's also worth to go to the other side to visit this small zoo and a Minangkabau museum. There you can learn a lot about the local culture and customs. Salamat sore! Number 8 is what this region is probably the most famous for and that is its delicious food. Great news for you foodie travelers, this place is one of the very best for you in all Indonesia. Minangkabau cuisine is very diverse and delicious and it's widely respected within the whole of Indonesia, even in Malaysia and Singapore. Definitely a must try is Nasi Padang, although I already can tell you it's going to be hard to escape from it. It's a set of different plates of dishes from which you are supposed to pick a several and then only pay for what you have consumed. The food in here is very delicious, a must try our beef rendang, but also sambal balado which is a spicy chili paste. Regarding beverages, my secret tip, de delur. This is a tea with dock egg. I know it sounds a bit weird, yet it's just so delicious. Number 7 is located in the town of Padang. It's a landmark and a symbol of pride to the locals and that is the Grand Mosque of Western Sumatra. This building is the pride of the town of Padang. It's one of the uniquely designed mosques all over the world. It doesn't have any round dome and neither does it show many elements of Arab or Indian architecture. Instead, it is fully dedicated to the Minangkabau style architecture with its many wooden ornaments and a curved rooftop. The latter should symbolize the horns of a water buffalo. Although it's a very modern interpretation of the Minangkabau architecture, it's quite genius in its design and it's one of the most beautiful mosques that I've ever visited in Southeast Asia. But number 6, we're diving into the local culture of the Minangkabau people and that is the museum at Padang Panjang. This museum lays about halfway between Padang and Bukitinggi. In here you can learn a lot about the traditions and history of the Minangkabau people that are native to Western Sumatra. This museum is a very beautiful adaption of the Rumagadang. This is how the Minangkabau people call their traditional houses. The many wooden ornaments and curved rooftops are signature for this type of houses. It just looks stunning. 
The interior is also very nice and what's even more fun is that you can rent a traditional Minang Kabao dress for taking photos inside or around the house. Although you might think that this is only one of the few remaining Rumagadangs, you sooner or later will realize that this type of house is actually very common in this region. With number 5 we're moving to the upper half of this top 10 list and that is the Ungarai Seanok, which is probably the most touristy site in the town of Bukitingi. Welcome to the Instagram hotspot of Bukitingi. This valley is one of the most beautiful and at the same time most convenient landscapes to visit as it's just nicely embedded into the town. From here you will have a fantastic view of this valley What's the best? The entry only costs you 2 US dollars. Don't forget to pay a visit to the Japanese war tunnel that is just right here. Number 4 are the traditional Minangkabau mosques that are scattered all around the region of Western Sumatra. This is my secret favorite and something I hope you Minangkabau people of Western Sumatra will feel very proud of. In here I found some of the most interesting and mystic mosques that I've ever seen on my travels. I do have to say I became quite a fan of the traditional mosques that are scattered all around this region. I only visited the Surah Lubukbau and the Musaji Asasi in Padang Panjang. But there are many, many similar ones like these too. Definitely on my next trip I will try to visit some more. To the locals I can only say, please take well care of these structures, they are just amazing. We are now moving up to the podium. Actually I wanted to reserve number 3 for Lake Maninjau. However, when I planned to go there the weather wasn't really great. Thus I had to leave this beautiful piece of nature out. Therefore I am giving number 3 to the beautiful island called Pulau Pamutusan. We're now adding some real fun to your trip. Of course, Western Sumatra is so cultural, mystical and historical, but it also has marvelous beaches and islands just like this one here. Although the weather wasn't sunny on that day, I visited this island called Pulau Pomutusan and I had one of the most relaxing times at this beautiful beach. It was really great to swim in here, well, until I get stung by a jellyfish. Maybe regarding that you want to bring a new print suit just to be safe. But else, this place is just wow. Number two is a place that is very important to the history of the Minangkabau people, and that is the magnificent palace called Isanubasa Pagaruyung. Once Western Sumatra was a kingdom that lasted for more than 500 years. The Istanobasa Pagaruyung is what reminds us today of this formerly proud dynasty. The present building is already the second replica, the original was burned down during the Party War and the first replica also burned down after being stroked by lightning. The interior is very impressive, a beautiful amalgam of wood and colorful fabrics, you probably will also notice this many German-like flags. Well, it's actually older and it's the flag of the Pagaruing dynasty. Up to this day, it's one of the symbols of the land of the Minangkabau. In here, you also can rent traditional tires for only 3 US dollars, which I highly recommend as you can take a lot of cool photos. Should you have enjoyed watching this video so far, then I would very much appreciate if you could press the like button. With that, you would give me a lot of support. Also, if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. That would be really cool. And now, before I'm revealing to you the number one place, here are a few top honorable mentions. The Jamgadang at Bukitinggi, Puncak Mande and the rice fields at Padang Pariaman. And now I'm revealing to you the number one place on this top 10 list. Number one goes to the very, very beautiful island called Pulau Pasumpahan.
This is what I called the perfect finish of a perfect but too short trip to this region. Pulau Pasumpahan is a serene island just in front of this cute fishing village called Sungai Pisang. The fishing village is already quite stunning. If you're lucky, you'll see the locals repainting their boats and surely then you will get to see plenty of these colorful masterpieces. This was definitely one of the highlights of my trip to Western Sumatra. I really hope you will be as lucky when you travel there. To the island it only takes 15 to 20 minutes by boat ride from the village and tours from here are actually very cheap, costing you only 30 US dollars for an entire day. The atmosphere on the island is very calm, there are a couple of locals, barely any tourists and thus it's just perfect to be in here. Taking a look at the surrounding landscape you might feel that you're lost in Jurassic Park. It actually really reminded me of this great classic movie. I leave it up to you when you want to come to this island, but surely it's going to be quite a highlight if you save it for the last full day of your trip. With myself having ended a perfect trip with a perfect visit to Pulau Pasumpahan, I really felt sad to leave this region, but I'm surely coming back as there is a lot more to discover and I already anticipate that my next top 10 list is going to look quite different. But should you only have a few days in Western Sumatra, I do think this list definitely will serve you well. This was my top 10 selection for Western Sumatra, Indonesia. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please press that like button or also share it to your friends. It would be really cool. Please let me know down in the comments section whether you agree with my top 10 list. I would be really interested to hear your opinion. I know there are many, many more beautiful places that I didn't cover in this video. Unfortunately, I only traveled for four days to Western Sumatra. I know it's by far not enough. This region is just so fascinating. Ah, Sangat Rindu Sumatra Barat. Semoga boleh balik di tahun 2021. Hopefully next year in 2021, I can go there again. I want to cover a lot more places. And then of course, I would travel there for longer for 10 days in total. With that, I hope to provide you another top 10 list, but of course, an improved 2.0 version. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. We're going to see each other very soon.